Welcome to God Cares, where we believe that every spiritual journey is unique, powerful, and worth sharing. Today, we're exploring creative ways you can share your spiritual journey with the world. Hey everyone, I'm Isaiah, and whether you're just starting on your spiritual path or you've been walking this road for years, sharing your journey can be such a powerful way to inspire and encourage others. When we share our stories, our struggles, our triumphs of the spirit, we open ourselves up to something bigger. So let's dive into some creative ways you can do just that. One of the simplest, most powerful tools we have in life is the ability to put pen to paper, to take the swirling thoughts and emotions inside us and give them shape, give them form. That's what journaling is all about. It's about making your soul visible on the page. And when it comes to your spiritual journey, a journal can be a sacred space, a place where you can be completely honest with yourself, where you can ask the big questions without judgment, where you can track your growth and celebrate your breakthroughs. Think about those moments of divine connection you've experienced. Maybe it was in the quiet of nature, or during a moment of prayer, or even in the midst of great pain. Write those moments down. Capture the emotions, the insights, the lessons learned. Take a favorite moment or lesson from your spiritual walk and share it on social media, a blog, or even a video like this. People connect to real, authentic stories. Sometimes words just aren't enough. Sometimes we need to express the language of the soul through different mediums. And that's where art, photography, and even digital creations come in. Think about it. A single photograph can capture the raw beauty of a sunrise, the way the light dances on the water, the sense of awe and wonder that washes over you. That's the divine speaking through nature. And when you capture that moment, you're not just taking a picture, you're sharing a piece of your spiritual experience. Art speaks when words can't. Whether you're painting a sunset that reminds you of God's grace or snapping a photo of a peaceful morning, these images can tell powerful stories that words may struggle to convey. Don't be afraid to get creative. Use colors, textures, shapes to express the emotions, the energy of your journey. Maybe you're drawn to creating mandalas, those intricate circular designs that represent the universe. Or maybe you feel called to capture the serenity of a quiet forest path. What matters? is that you're pouring your heart into it, that you're using your creativity as a way to connect with the divine and share that connection with the world. Remember, art is a form of prayer. Let your spirit soar. We live in a world of instant gratification. People are busy, they're scrolling. They're looking for those quick hits of inspiration or connection. And that's where short videos and reels come in. They're like little windows into the soul, offering bite-sized pieces of wisdom, encouragement, or simply beauty. Sharing your journey doesn't always have to be long or complex. You can create short, inspiring videos or reels that reflect on a recent experience, a prayer, or a revelation you had. Platforms like YouTube Shorts or Instagram Reels are perfect for these bite-sized moments of inspiration. Think about a recent experience that touched your heart, something that deepened your faith or shifted your perspective. Maybe you witnessed an act of kindness that restored your faith in humanity. Or maybe you received guidance through prayer that helped you navigate a difficult situation. Share that story. It doesn't have to be complicated. Just speak from the heart. Be authentic. Be vulnerable. You never know who might be watching and who might need to hear your message. Chapter 4. Music and Poetry. Share the rhythm of your heart. There's a reason why music has always been intertwined with spirituality. It's the language of the soul. It transcends words. It bypasses the logical mind and goes straight to the heart. Think about the hymns you grew up singing in church, the soulful gospel music that stirs the spirit, the chanting that leads you into a meditative state. Music has the power to uplift, to heal, to connect us to something greater than ourselves. 
If music or poetry is your way of expressing your heart, don't hesitate to use it as a way to share your spiritual journey. Write a song or poem that reflects your experiences and share it with others. And it doesn't matter if you're a classically trained musician or you just strum a few chords on the guitar. What matters is that you're pouring your heart and soul into the music. Let the melody flow, let the lyrics come from that deep place within. Maybe you're a wordsmith, someone who finds solace in the beauty and power of language. Poetry can be just as powerful as music. Your spiritual journey is your song. Let the world hear it. Chapter 5. Collaborate with your community. You know, as much as we talk about the importance of the individual spiritual journey, the truth is, we're not meant to walk this path alone. We need community. We need those fellow travellers who understand our struggles, who can offer support and encouragement, and who can remind us that we're all in this together. Your spiritual journey doesn't have to be walked alone. Sometimes the most beautiful stories come when we walk alongside others. Collaborate with your community, friends, family or your spiritual group and share your journey together. Think about your own circle of friends, your family, the people you connect with at your place of worship. What if you created a space where you could come together and share your spiritual experiences? You could host a discussion group, create a collaborative blog, or even film a roundtable discussion where you all talk about the ups and downs of your spiritual experiences. Sharing in community not only strengthens your faith, but can inspire others to seek their own spiritual path. Maybe you decide to start a book club and read books that have inspired your spiritual growth. Or, you could volunteer together at an organisation that aligns with your values. Remember, we're stronger together. Chapter 6. Use your platform for inspiration. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking. Oprah, I don't have a platform. I'm not a celebrity or an influencer, but here's the thing. Each and every one of us has a platform. It might be small, it might just be our immediate circle of friends and family, but it's a platform nonetheless. Whether you have 10 followers or 10,000, your social media platforms can be a place to spread light and positivity. Share uplifting quotes, your favorite Bible verses, or reflections from your daily life. Think about it, every day we're bombarded with negativity, with fear, with division. But imagine if we all committed to using our platforms, no matter how big or small, to spread love, hope, and inspiration. Share a quote that resonated with you, Post a picture of a beautiful sunset that reminded you of God's grace. Write a heartfelt caption about a lesson you learned. You never know who might be scrolling through their feed, feeling lost, discouraged or alone. Your words, your images, your stories could be the very thing that lifts them up. Chapter 7. Turn your challenges into testimonies. Here's the thing about spiritual journeys. They're not always easy. In fact, they're often messy, they're challenging, they're full of twists and turns that we never could have anticipated. But here's the beautiful paradox. It's often in those difficult moments, those times when we feel lost or broken, that we experience the greatest growth. Every journey has its challenges, but those challenges are often what shape us the most. Turn your struggles into testimonies because there's power in showing others how you've overcome, healed or grown. Think about a time when you faced a major challenge, a time when your faith was tested. Maybe you lost a loved one, went through a divorce or faced a health crisis. It's easy to want to hide those difficult experiences to pretend that everything is okay. But what if instead of hiding, we shared our stories of resilience, of how we found strength in the midst of pain, of how our faith carried us through. Don't be afraid to get vulnerable. When you share the hard parts of your journey, it shows others that they're not alone in theirs. You could be the encouragement someone needs to keep going. Your vulnerability might just be the very thing that inspires someone else to keep going. True, your journey matters, God cares. No matter how you choose to share your spiritual journey, through words, art, music or community, remember that your story is unique and it has the power to inspire. So don't hold back. Let the world see the light within you. Thank you for being here with us today on 
God cares. God cares for shining bright. Together we'll spread love day and night.